Welcome to Cut Corners Construction, where we cut the corners so you don't have to. Today what we're doing is we're installing a basic closet organizer. Now this, this little tutorial is to help you, just the normal lay person that doesn't really know what they're doing, um, how to install one of these. One of these bad boys right here. This is your complete closet kit. Now you're going to need some tools for this job. And we're going to show you what kind of tools you need. Okay, you're going to need a hammer, you're going to need a pencil. I've got two levels for doing this job. I've got a two foot level and I've got a four foot level. You're going to need a drill, I've got two. You're also going to need a tape measure. I employ a 30 foot tape measure. Now, some of the shelving in this unit may have to be cut to size. So, I've got a little DeWalt 12 volt max sawzall. Let's go ahead and get started. First, we need to open the box. We need to remove the contents of the box. Now, you may be tempted to hand these out to four of your kids and let them sword fight with them. I don't recommend that. And here's your instructions, but why do we need those? One of the first things you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find out the width of your closet. The first shelf that we put in, we're going to have to cut it down to make all the shelves fit. Now I've gone ahead and figured out exactly what width we have and I've marked where we need to cut this shelf. First thing you want to do before you cut anything like this would be some ear protection. So we're going to go ahead and put that on. I've got my own set right here as well. Here we go. So over here, we've got this um, configuration that we're going to be going with, and for this shelf, we're going to be going, we're going to be putting the um, the clips that are in the walls at 66 and 7 eighths. Okay, so you're going to want to have a clip here, and usually about every 11 inches. Once you have your lines marked in the wall, it's a good idea to just check to make sure that they're level here and you want to make sure wherever your your clips are going to be put into the wall you want them to fall in between these two bars so we're going to put a clip there we've already got the one here so I'm going to put an X that's exactly where I'm going to drill that's exactly where I'm going to drill there we're going to put the X here so now we're ready to drill and this is going to be a quarter inch drill bit clips that come with the kit and you simply just, uh, I, what I usually do is I take the, the drywall paper and stuff that's kind of coming back out, I push it back in and then when you shove that in it's going to let the clips sit nice and flat against the wall. Now that the clips are in we can go ahead and we can insert our nails, they look just like this. Now with these, you can, you can usually either take a screwdriver and shove it in. Sometimes you use a hammer. It's for the more skilled carpenter because you may miss and drive a hole straight through your drywall. drywall. And we definitely aren't into demolition right now. We're into putting a, you know, a closet organizer in. So if you're going to do this, take precaution. All right. Now if you notice, the, there's little... Uh, flip things on the top of this clip. Now you don't want to clip that down yet until you got your shelf in. So we'll wait. So here, next thing that we're going to do is we're going to just slightly set the shelf in, in place. Now there is a, a wall clip that will be going on here. And so I'm going to just mark, rather than having to measure, I'm going to just mark along the center of where this brace and this brace is, so we're going to just mark it straight down. We want to be about center of that nail. Okay, 66 and 7 eighths should be at least level. 
make sure these are straight. Now I'm just going to hold it up to the mark that we made, and I'm going to line. I want to. I want to line it up so that it's that it's relatively straight. And then I'm going to make another mark where this where this goes into the wall. It's a good idea when you're drilling not to drive the drill all the way, the drill bit all the way in because you never know what could behind that be behind this drywall. There could be a, um, there could be some electrical cable, um, there could be some uh, TV cable. You just never know what could be back there. Okay, so we're gonna put these into our spot here. Install our shelf. Make sure they're pulled down tight, and then we can now apply our clips into place here. Now the first shelf is in, and we can go to our next shelf. We're going to be putting the clips in the wall at 80 and a half. So we're going to grab our tape measure and we're going to go ahead and, and follow the same process we followed on the, on the last shelf. Go ahead and drill our holes. here is going to be at 40 and 3 eighths. That's not the right one. <laughs> Let's get the right shelf. Put the other shelves in. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to put these um, poles in place, and this will kind of help us give us a little bit of a guide for our center shelf. So we've got these put together, and they come with little rubber caps. So we're going to place the cap on the top, place the cap on the bottom. Got the necessary clip, screw, and nut. your rubber baby buggy bumpers on the uh, pole here. Uh, the next um, shelf that we're doing is going to be at 53 inches.
I mentioned before another method you can use for getting these in is a screwdriver. And, and all you have to do, you don't have to screw it, you just put your hand on it and push. The next shelf we're doing is 26 and 3 quarters. We're down to one shelf to go. And um, you gotta decide at this point, do you want a lower shelf or do you just wanna be lazy and be like, you know what, I've done enough, this job is done. I need to go ahead and finish the job. It's just better to do it that way. Where was that last shelf, where did it go? Um, we're, tw uh, so we're, we're doing this last shelf here and um, and I know exactly where it goes. Um, so we're going to put it at uh, 12 and 7 eighths. X always, always marks the spot. Now that we have our shelving unit installed, there's one more important step that needs to be done. Every single one of these ends are quite sharp, as it is steel, metal. Um, so what we're going to do is they give you these white caps. So we're going to go along, and we're just going to put caps on every single one of these. Here we go. This important step will ensure that when you come into your closet that you don't get lacerated. Well we've done it. We've completed this shelving unit and I'm proud of you for giving this a try yourself and uh, hopefully you've had as much luck as I have and as much fun and excitement installing this shelving unit and um, we'll see you next time on Cut Corners Construction. Welcome to Cut Corners Construction. I was your cameraman. Thank you for watching. Welcome to Cut Corners Construction. <laughs> Good solid uh, shelving unit we built and we're going to tell you how to do it. Very, very interesting. Welcome to Cut Corners Destruction. We cut the corners so you don't have to. We're going to be installing. Alright. So we get our tape measure. Welcome to Cut Corners. Welcome to Cut Corners Construction. Where, where are you aiming right now? Let's, whoa, whoa, look out there. Whoa. And uh, watch the entirety of the entire program. Steadily. As some of you out there, you may, may not understand how to install these types of organizers, even though it's very simple and quite plain. But we understand that there's people that don't know how to do these kind of things, and that's okay. You don't have to feel bad about that. Now you're going to need some tools for this job. Sometimes we're not perfect <laughs> here at Cat Corners Construction. We just got to kind of go with the flow. What? You don't have to switch your bit out. Which is the most important thing that you can do. Um, yeah.
here's some more of your shelving pieces. Next shelf is going to be at 88 and a half. So always double check your measurements because you might make a mistake like I did earlier. <laughs> and you definitely don't want to get electrocuted <laughs> while doing this. That would not be good. With every type of service that you would need. <laughs> 